Welcome to Fox 9 Sports Now. And look at this. What a get <laughs> we have here tonight. Do you believe this? This is a Fox 9 first. Uh -huh. we, it is. It is. Uh, first. It's an anything. It's been first. a long time for that. I love first. Anything. First. I love it. it. This Woo. is a first that we have both Parrish brothers yeah. on the same show for the first time ever. Mark Parrish, Gino Parrish. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Gino. Hi, Mark. Pleasure. Nice you have a good, good, fabulous last good, name. Yeah, thank you too. You two have great teeth. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> That's a lie, <laughs> but I'll take it. Gentlemen. Thank you so much. We're going to pick your brains on the wild and college hockey. Yep. But first, we should maybe refresh everyone what you have to have done on the ice. Of course, <laughs> both of you at St. Cloud State leading the Huskies to national prominence. You came in, you kept it going. And then, of course, Mark, uh, you went on to the National Hockey League and he did pretty well. 700 games, 11 <laughs> seasons. Uh, Things went well for you on that professional level. And, and Gino, we did find yes. you here. Thank you. Yes. Like you found a highlight. And whoa, a whoa, great whoa. one. Wait till the end Look of this that. one. Oh. Wait till the end of it. Wait, the end oh, of well. I didn't know you had lefts. You didn't do that when you were younger. Yeah, I know. You're welcome that I didn't do that. Oh. I can't believe you found that footage. The one <laughs> fight that I won. I was going to say, where's Terrific. my... Terrific. Didn't you find a fight of mine? Uh, you were just scoring You didn't want to see your fights. <laughs> you didn't want to see your fights. I was like, what? That's what impressive. Going wild. That was oh, <laughs> finally scared of my big brother again. I, was, I didn't know you had those lefts. <clears throat> <laughs> used to be there, baby. Used to be there. All right, uh, let's talk about the Minnesota Wild, the team yes. that you cover for NHL Network and for Bally Sports North. Points in five straight, trying to scramble back into a playoff spot. You were there yesterday when they came up short against Buffalo. They still got the point, but the second one is so critical for this club right now. Um, what are you seeing right now? Is this a playoff team? The way that they're playing right now, absolutely. The, the big thing about the Minnesota Wild now is their structure. They've gotten back to their D-zone structure, their D-zone systems, and from that, when I tell all these little kids, tell everybody, when you're in the right position defensively, that means you're in the right position offensively to take advantage of offensive kids. Remember that. Your, ki your coaches will love you for that. And that is exactly what the players are doing right now. From Kaprizov on down, they're committed to blocking shots, they're committed to their D-zone, and obviously that top line is just clicking on on all cylinders but it all starts with their end the PK their goaltending they're taking care of their end first and getting the offense to, to get the points and yeah they missed the one but five or six pretty awesome you'll take that all year long all right but Gino yeah. the NHL is so hard to catch up everybody goes well it's only five points it's only four <laughs> points but it takes months for teams to get up there with yep. those bonus points. Every game counts. It's no different at any level. What you do in retrospect afterwards is you go back. When you don't make the playoffs, when you don't make that run, you go back and you go, man, if we only had that one. Man, if we only had that one. If we only scored that one other one. If we only <laughs> did that one. It's all, it's all that regret about those one games that you just missed. So he's absolutely right. You know, you know, the, the, the best offense is a good defense. And he, yep. uh, he nailed it. And Shockingly so. Ah, Thank you. Thank I you. think defensively now that I'm done. That's right. Yeah. 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 You, you, yeah. You've discovered that other half. Yeah, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pay attention it's to amazing. it now. All right. Uh, one reason the Wild are rolling right now is the new top line that it's emerged. John Hines broke up Kaprizov and Matt Zuccarello, put Eric Sinek and Boldy together, and they've been on fire. 21 points in their last four games, but. Who's the real driver of that line, Mark? Oh, you know, as much as Kaprizov is a superstar, he runs that line. Right now, I think what's changing that line is the Jewel Eriksson Ek. Getting that straight north-south style hockey player between two very skilled guys that will, they're not afraid to play east-west. Boldy's obviously coming into his own as a true power forward and realizing how strong as baby Huey he really is, this young man, <laughs> for crying out loud. Yeah. Uh, but, but he can kind of get up caught in the east-west. Zuccarello, when those three get together, Together, they kind of get a pass happy, a little pass happy. Okay. We need those guys as shooters. I love that Jewel Eriksson Ek is going to go right to that net. Everyone on the ice, everyone in the building knows exactly what Jewel Eriksson Ek is going to do. He's going to win the faceoff and he's going to go right to that net. <laughs> and Zuccarell, or excuse me, and Kaprizov and Boldy are they're keeping up with that speed. They're driving north more with them. They're shooting the puck more. They're simplifying their game, but through that, their skills coming out. I mean, you can look at the goal by Jewel Eriksson Ek last night. Right. That play by Kaprizov. 
is Kaprizov, excuse me, is speed kills. He he gets flying down that line. He catches he catches that turnover. He busts down that wall. The D-man, all that D-man can do is try and catch him, and he lays an absolutely perfect, perfect pass. Yeah, Just man. perfect for who other hey, than Jewel Erickson X. Exactly. All right. Gino, Mark Andre Fleury. Yep. Future Hall of Famer, oh, right? No oh. doubt about it. But the door. A, couple yes, of, yes. a couple of Fridays ago, I think he may have had the most pressure on him of his entire career because they honored him for 552 wins, yep. speeches, his wife, the children are yep. on the ice. Then he had to go out and play the game. What does that tell you about the mental makeup of this guy? Yep, uh, perfection. <laughs> the, it really is, I, it, and and goalie is the most difficult mental perspective position to play in the game because you're that last line of defense. The D have the goalie to stand up for you. The forwards have the D to stand up for you, but he's that guy. I don't know if you saw that recent clip. It was phenomenal. It's weird about him chirping them on the on the shootouts versus <laughs> Chicago. It is one of the greatest things I've ever seen, but that, that is just so how strong he is between the ears that he believes in himself. And you, you can imagine after that many games in the National Hockey League how much he understands the body language of every single human. The second they learn, they turn their wrists, they turn their hips, they turn their feet. Everything about him is A, he knows, and B, he's friggin' awesome, and C, he loves the game. And you can't go this long unless you love the game. And he still absolutely loves the game of hockey. And you can tell that every time he steps on the ice, sidebar, I really want his kid's hat. I, I sent my brother a message, the, the hat that said flurry with the flowers all over it. Please. I, I, might, Please. I, might, I might have one coming for you. I might. I would. Not to surprise you on, on TV. All, or right, all right. Now, <laughs> Flurry's made the playoffs 17 straight years. How does Billy G approach this trade deadline? Uh, well, I mean, it's a conversation you've almost got to have with Mark Andre Fleury. I don't know if they've had, uh, they have had that conversation, but we know one thing: Mark Andre Fleury absolutely loves it here. Now, of course, when if an opportunity does come, now let's just say that the things just don't go well for the Wild, and they are in that situation. Well, if you can add something for for a veteran, he's also understands that's the game, and if you're going to give him another chance at winning a cup as well as adding something to your inventory, that's a win-win situation. As difficult as it would be to see Flower leave Minnesota, it's the right play for this organization if it comes to that. If it right. was still, it's still time. No, still time. <laughs> no, we don't want that. <laughs> I understand. I agree. All right. But we're going to take a break. <laughs> we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to chat about just where this team is going. And, of course, the Huskies right up 94, where you two made your names. Are they ready for a trip to St. Paul this spring? We'll dive into that and more wild talk as we continue here on Fox 9 Sports Now.